Oh, the smell, it's brutal. I can't work like this. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you gotta snap some photos. This is the start of episode six. We do not, well, <laughs> it's not we, it's me. Me, say moi in French, I do not have teeth. But stick around to the end in the next five, six minutes when this week episode is done. We're gonna show you the inside of this house. It's, it is beyond anything you could imagine. The smell, the, the house itself, I can't even describe it. Stick around, we're gonna go get some beams now, deal with some key issues. I have no teeth this week, but you wanna see the inside of this house. Stick around for about five minutes. See you soon, well, I will see you soon inside. Hey. Does it bother you? Does it? Do you find it odd that I don't have teeth this week? No, I'm used to it. You haven't. <laughs> I'm used to you not having them. What do you think the general public thinks? I'm sure most of it find it funny. <laughs> so I have no teeth. Is that okay? Yeah. Why? Hockey. So they did all the bone work, like all the implant stuff, but then it takes time to heal. And then I got my final mold. They can't give you something. Well, they did. They gave me. They gave me this thing. Why don't you wear it? Because when I have it in, it pinches my canines a bit, oh. and I sound like I sound even stupider. Mm -hmm. You don't find this looks cool? No. <laughs> I love it. Arr! Can we look at doors? That's why I'm here. What, what, uh, what I want the Lincoln, the one panel. Can we go look at them? It doesn't make you want to smooch. No. <laughs> so that's the Lincoln one panel. Right there, but it's upside down. Because you, you put the flat base beside it. It's a nice flat modern base and I like it. I know. How much are those piece? Those, I think I priced that yesterday and it was 173 something. Okay, 173 bucks. How much is a regular six panel? Like the ones that people have been putting in for 50 years. That's what most people have, right? Yeah. The difference is like 60 bucks a door. 60, yeah, 60 to 70. 60 to 70 dollars more door, but this is a fancy house. It's on Macbeth. Um, Let's do it. So with the flat trim beside it and the flat panel in the center, it looks nice. Okay. No Here's smoochy, one. smoochy, smoochy? No. <laughs> okay, see ya. See you later. <laughs> Nobody wants to smoochy. Uh, calling Jason from Liberty Utilities. I don't have teeth right now. But you don't have teeth. Teeth, teeth. No, I don't have teeth. Oh, teeth. Oh, teeth. Yeah. So. We were going to do the podcast on uh, natural gas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can I let you know, I'm going to try to get into the dentist tomorrow before Thursday. If if we have to reschedule, you won't, uh, it won't end of the world. Yeah, sure. Thank yeah, you. I'm around, that, I'm around the next week, the week after I'm in Phoenix. So uh, just if we don't do it the, the next week, uh, the other week I'm gone. I was thinking one podcast could be all residential, why it's important. Because before I met you guys, I didn't know yeah. all about natural gas and... Now that I yeah. get it in my house, so keep it completely residential, hot water, heating, all that stuff, fireplaces, everything. Yeah. A second one we could do on commercial, and the third one could be on its own later, just on becoming a gas fitter, Why? how many jobs are out there. Do you know what I mean? Sounds great. Okay, bye. And where are we? We are at <laughs> Atlas. So this is uh, where we buy our laminated beams. We're gonna go see Kevin. So right now it's a bungalow, and this is the basement. They have all these little makeshift posts, but we're gonna build a two, by, two by six carrying wall underneath the whole thing. And then we'll go to the city with it. But that's what he want, we wanna open up right there. So you don't always need to do like super duper professional drawings. You can do them by hand as long as all the measurements are exact and right. Can we get it stamped for the city once you get your approval? Yeah. Okay, we gotta go, I gotta go. Thanks Kev. I lost him playing hockey. Oh. Did you say teeth? For teeth. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Can we put that on? Something happened to your teeth. So I bring this to the office. Yeah, and then we're gonna go once we get the stamp from him, okay. and we have the beam. We're gonna bring the paperwork to the city of Dieppe and get the permit. Perfect. Cool. Woohoo! Did you just ask me what I'm doing with the camera? You have to sign this. So we're always moving lock boxes oh, around. Cut. You just paper cut it yourself live on camera? Let's see it. We gotta see it. This is Jen, my wife, if you can't see her through the fur coat. Let's see the cut. Let's see the big dramatic cut. Where is it? Let's see. There's no you paper. Out. It's you bleeding. Heard. It's bleeding. It's bleeding. Let's see. I wanna see it. A little bit. No. No, let's see it. 
where as we sell properties, we got to take off the real estate lockbox, the blue one. So it's like a constant keys, 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 keys for us. I'm telling you, we make more keys than anybody else on the planet. So it's all wireless now over the phone. And you push the bottom. Every realtor has a code. But what's, what's really neat about these boxes, you can set time limits. So if a, a, a person selling their house doesn't want people in past 10 p.m., you can set that on the box. So it won't release the key after 10 p.m. It's really a neat feature. And it shows you who went into your house, that sort of thing, when they went in. This one I wanted to take pictures before we started. Look, there's even like garbage. It's a gem. <laughs> smell, it's brutal. Okay, go. I can't work like this. <laughs> <laughs> just, you gotta snap some photos. <laughs> we just need some photos yep. okay. to show the house. Look at this place. <laughs> you can't, you know what you're, you're not getting is the smell. Oh. It's the smell. Like, I think it's it's one thing in cameras I and video, you thing. cannot share. You Ooh. can't share with people. And you know, I kind of feel bad a little bit putting this on camera, but this is how they left it. What do we, I, I, I own the house. This is how they left it, right? Oh, Man, nice. the next time Jen tells me, pick up your socks, I'm gonna show her this video. I'm not so bad. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Why we want some pictures? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This place will be incredible after. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, I see potential. It's you wanna, you wanna buy it? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, it's let's great, chat. It's in a great location. This is still in the package. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna bring you back into the house as we do. We're gonna follow that one. The whole, what's the smell in here? I burnt my Triscuits. I went for the smoke effect. You burnt your Triscuits? I like to toast them really quick. She toasts her Triscuits in the toaster quick and she forgot them. So next week, this is the end of week six. Uh, next week we're gonna show those doors going in Macbeth. We're gonna follow that house as we tear it apart. That smelly one that we talked about. We're also gonna go to the Dieppe City if they let us film there, not sure yet. And we're gonna put the beam in. End of episode six. See, oh, do you want a smoochy smoochy?